Hello and welcome to this episode of the Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial series by Profile Tree. In today's episode I'm going to be talking about how to edit your edits or projects to the beat of a song or a piece of music. Um, so to begin with I'm just going to play you the following clip. Um, so if we were going to edit to a beat like this. <laughs> As it's a bit slower and not very upbeat, um, you may want to do this manually. And when I say manually, you'll know what I mean when I show you the second part. Um, it might just be easier to go through each clip and sort of time it to the beat, but you don't have to do it for every single beat. You can just sort of work it in your own way. So that it is timed nicely. Um, you don't want something like that to be too um, sort of progressive in terms of every single beat um, as a different shot because you won't get to see the finer details. However, if it's a bit of fast paced editing that you're doing, um, for example, a summer highlight reel um, where you've been on holiday and you're just showing little two second clips then you might choose a piece of music like the following. So I'm just going to actually decrease the volume a little. Don't want any broken eardrums. Um, so you might choose something a bit more upbeat and in that case you can do what is called leaving markers. Um, so I'll show you now. So you'll see those little markers that have just popped on. So what I'm doing there is just tapping the letter the letter M for each beat um, and that will leave a little marker. And then as you drag your clips on, you'll know where to put them. Um, so just another handy way to edit to the beat. If they're not perfect, you can always click on them and drag them to the right place. Um, so yeah, that's part two of the way you could edit to the music. Um, but there's absolutely no harm in just doing it manually. Um, and it sometimes can even be more effective. I would say part two is more of a faster way to do it. Um, again, as I've said, if you're editing a fast paced video, if not, I would just um, keep an eye on your little waveform and you'll be able to see yourself where you should put each clip and by listening. And I definitely would recommend this if you are using any kind of music as it does um, definitely dramatically increase the effectiveness of your project. Um, so any questions, please leave them as always in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Thanks. Bye.